Hi there. So I think it's a sign of a true scholar when you want to make sure that your reference library goes with you when you graduate or move institutions. And for many of you, and, and that was me included, uh, the university made an EndNote subscription available for free through their subscription. So upon leaving, you can't convert that into your own upgrade. Um, it, it doesn't work, so you end up having to purchase a whole other subscription or use another reference manager. So Mendeley, again, works pretty okay for that. I tend to favor Zotero because I can click into um, different types of sites and save them easily. So what I was looking to do was to um, take my library from EndNote and bring it into um, Zotero. So if you go into EndNote, you need to select all the references in your library, every single one of them. And once you select them, then you export and save as an XML file. So I'm showing you a little thing here um, to illustrate that if you don't select everything and you just save as a text document or an RTF, it only saves the first citation. So you'll see I've got this XML document and I've got a whole bunch of things in here and I'm really hoping those are my references. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize this window here and I'm gonna come on over in Zotero, nice and open here, and I'm gonna say File Import and it's gonna import from the top here and we'll see if this works. I'm going to select my XML file and what I can do is I can show my details here just to make sure that I've got the right, um, the right file that I'm trying to import. Click on open and then click on next and it should import and I think there's about, oh, I don't know, 6,000 references in here. It should come in as a new collection and when it comes in as a new collection, then um, we can go ahead and uh, minimize our duplicate. So I'm gonna pause here for a moment until it's finished importing and I'll be back. Okay, so this is still bringing in references and I've gone and had a cup of tea and a little snack and uh, it's, it's moving a little bit slowly, but everything's coming in and I just wanna highlight that it's pulling in all the metadata from the articles um, ever so slowly and so it's in its own collection here. So you'll also see above here, I've got two files with the same name. I, I kept different libraries for a while because I was working on different projects. But ultimately, when all of these references are entered, I've got collections over here and I can search and drop and drag and pull them into collections. And once I've assigned everybody to a collection, then I can delete this collection as well. So that helps me categorize these. I could make a whole new library if I wanted, but for me, I'd, I'd like to have everything in one place because I write across disciplines. So um, you can export your references from EndNote to hang on to them. And I really do recommend that you do that. Again, Zotero is free unless you wanna pay like 20 bucks for annual storage, which of course I do. Um, but it helps you uh, hang on to all the references for your manuscripts and papers and things, especially if you're a grad student, you might wanna publish your work later on. So a good idea as you're getting to the end of a semester, end of a term to do this. Um, and especially also if your library decides to change their subscription. So you wanna make sure that you uh, don't have to go back and duplicate your work, um, but you're able to hang on to your references. So I hope this was helpful and happy researching.